First John four sixteen through 18 says, and we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. So family, we know that God is love, but what kind of love is he? Well, Psalm 138 verse 2 says, I will worship toward the holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Look at that. It says, for thy loving kindness. Exodus 3, 13, 14 says, And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me unto you. But we understand from reading the book of remembrance that Exodus 3 left something out. Let's read the book of remembrance of 1st Chi 4 and 35. This portion of it says, And Moses said, I do not even know what they call your name. Who should I tell the spokesman it was that sent me? And the Lord said, Tell him that the great I am loving kindness has sent you, for they know me by that name. And family, we understand that the name Anoki said means I am loving kindness. So family, we understand that loving kindness is the character of the father. But furthermore, in your Bible family, there are 20 verses that use the words thy loving kindness. They are attributing loving kindness to his character, to his name, because your character is who you are. Now let's go back to 1 John 4.18. It says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Family, this is deep, because in Genesis 9.16, it says, And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. Family, this is a protection from fear. Understand that. And the covenant spot on your body, family, is the palm of your hand. And the palm of your hand feels the power of God to deliver one from their fears. So you see, family, in this way we understand that perfect love casteth out all fear.